There's a new warning this morning that e-cigarettes may not be as safe as they seem. The New England Journal of Medicine says e-cigarette users are 5 to 15 times more likely to get formaldehyde-related cancers than long-term smokers. Formaldehyde is the toxic chemical found in the devices. Dr. Holly Phillips is with us. Dr. Holly, good morning. Good morning, Mara. Formaldehyde, we think about, you know, lab in, in high school when yes. we were dissecting frogs. That's in e-cigarettes? How dangerous is yeah, it? You know, formaldehyde is a really common chemical. It's not only in uh, frogs in biology labs, it's in permanent press fabrics, it's in glues, uh, and most importantly, it's in regular cigarettes. When you smoke a regular cigarette, you inhale this formaldehyde, which we know can cause cancer. Um, in the study, researchers took a high-powered form of an e-cigarette. It's called a tank system, and they basically created a vapor in a lab and studied it. Uh, they found that when you heated the vapor up at a low voltage, 3.3 volts, there was very little formaldehyde in it. In fact, none. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you heated the vapor up at 5 volts, there was a lot of formaldehyde. In fact, two and a half times the from amount of formaldehyde that you would get if you smoked a regular cigarette. Mm -hmm. Well, the American Vaping Association, no surprise, is not happy. They say this study is flawed. How come? You know, not only the, uh, the Vaping Association, but a number of critics have come out against this uh, paper that was published in the, in the New England Journal. Basically, they're saying what happens in the lab doesn't necessarily happen in real life. And even though they heated up the vapor to a very high voltage in the lab, real, real life e-cigarette users wouldn't do that. The vapor would taste terrible. It would basically overheat their device, and they would not enjoy the, the smoking. So they would usually smoke at at a lower voltage, which has less formaldehyde. Right, so they're saying you'd have to crank up the e-cigarette in, in, in some way that most e-cigarettes you can't even do it with to, to achieve these levels. Exactly, yeah. They used a specific uh, high-power e-cigarette called a tank system, and so most people wouldn't be exposed in that way. When so are we are really going to know? Yeah, are yeah, when safer? are we really going to know if they're safer? Right, yeah. you know, theoretically, they should be safer. We know that the main harm from cigarettes isn't the nicotine, even though that's an addictive substance. It's the 4,000 chemicals, 60 of which we know are carcinogens, that come from burning tobacco. E-cigarettes don't burn tobacco, so in theory they should still they should be safer, but as we see today, the jury is still very much out on that. Okay. Thank Holly you. Phillips, thanks very much.